Hey friends, um, we are so glad that you're joining us right now. Uh, my name is Cameron and this is my beautiful wife, Elizabeth, and we are starting our vlog today. Um, we both actually work in education and, you know, our full-time gig. And uh, we had a snow day today with actually zero snow, um, <laughs> only sleet and like barely any sleet. So it's kind of sad. Yeah. So we thought today would be a great day to uh, actually film our very first vlog. Really though, what we want to do is just share our lives with you guys. Yeah. Uh, we want you guys to get to meet us on a more personal level. There's only so much you can do when you are writing an Instagram post, um, when you're sharing pictures, but when you're in front of a camera and you are seeing us mm -hmm. in yeah. more or less real time, obviously we're editing, but you're getting to see us as we are. Hopefully. Like that's the goal. Yes. Like, like we want you guys to yeah. actually get to know us and to see, um, our flaws, um, yep. our goofiness. Stumbling over our words. Yes. Happens all the time. Talking over each other. Like we're right now. <laughs> but really, like we want you to know the real us. Yeah. Um, we also want to be able to offer you guys wedding day tips and tricks. And yeah. beyond that, um, just some marriage advice. Here's the thing. The wedding day starts the marriage. It's not yeah. some happy ending. Like right. that's that's just the, the beginning. beginning. Yeah. And so we want that day to be absolutely perfect. Yes. We look back on our day with so much just joy. Yes. We talk about yeah. it all the time. We talk about how fast it was, mm -hmm. but also just how much we loved it. Yes. And so we want you guys um, as future brides or as young marrieds to experience life with us. Yeah. And for, for sure. us to help you get the most out of your life. And and not to say like, we definitely do not think or feel like we have everything figured out. Like, in fact, <laughs> we are far from having everything figured out. I mean, from mm -hmm. weddings to uh, photography, to especially video, um, to marriage, oh. like in no aspect of life do we have it completely figured out. But I think one thing that we do is we see the opportunity in not having it figured out. And we see that process, you know, of, of learning and growing and changing. And that's what we're trying to do. What I'm trying to say is, is uh, we just want to, we want to be right there with you because mm -hmm. I feel like so many other people are like that as well. Yeah. So more than anything, we want to bring you into our community. Yeah. Um, one thing you may not know about us is Cameron and I are um, young adult pastors. And so we're literally surrounded with this stage of life all, all week time. long. Yeah. Uh, between and we love mar it. Uh, marriage and weddings, uh, the photography that we do and the ministry that Making we're Making decisions about like which school to go to, like what to major what in. What career path you yeah. want to take. Yeah. Um, and so not only are we slowly figuring it out, but we're also helping others already figure it out. And so we'd love for you to join that part of our community and that part of our sure. lives. Cool. So, um, something that we really wanted to do today, um, is just ask each other some questions and, <laughs> um, we, so what we've done is prepared three questions each that we're going to ask each other. So I have three questions that I'm going to ask Elizabeth and she does not know what they are. Like whatever her reaction is, whatever she thinks about these questions, it's going to come out and you're gonna see it. And that's part of the point. So mm -hmm. I guess I will ask the first question oh, since I'm already talking. Let me start here. My questions are building, so be nice. Are building? Yeah, like my first question's easy. <laughs> okay. So um, start with your easy question. Okay, this is an easy one. If you, I feel like I need some music right now like mm -hmm. to build it up. If you had to shop at either one store for the rest of your life mm -hmm. or one brand for the rest of your life, what would it be? You have to know this about us. We really love <laughs> fashion. We really love to shop. We both do. We both kind of have a problem with it. Okay, I just have a problem with it. <laughs> Anyways, that's where this question comes okay. from. So one, st one store, one brand, go. Rest of your life. Oh gosh, okay. Maybe Banana Republic, if it's the rest of my life, because 
they cater not only to my age now, but also I feel like 40s, <clears throat> 50s, like you could definitely translate your wardrobe into a little bit more mature. Yeah, probably and some so, timeless pieces in yeah, there. Yeah, and so something about myself, I am working towards a capsule wardrobe, which is just where you have limited number of pieces that all work together. Um, it helps reduce the waste. Y'all, I'm so in... So he's I think shopper. it's super cool, but I, it could <laughs> never work for me. Like, I'm trying, but I'm trying more of like... To whittle down. Like, he has two closets, so maybe That's like true. whittle them down to one and a half. <laughs> I'm trying to make, uh, make a tour. I have one rack in my closet. And so, so far it's going pretty well. I'm really happy. Um, when you see me in the I've future... I've been very impressed. When you see me in the future, you'll notice that I wear a lot of uh, natural colors. Um, the camel colors, uh, yeah. some of the These peachy colors. colors. Yeah, so I really like neutrals. Um, I definitely don't just go in for the black and white. I'm not monochromatic. Yeah, Cameron actually loves the black and white. Um, so I do like color, but they tend to be a little bit softer, a little bit lighter. Um, I so like that too. You'll probably like see that, me. I like yeah, that you like that. You'll see me in maybe even um, similar outfits styled different ways, and that's why. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm really surprised at your answer though, because I thought that I already had it figured out. Okay. Um, what's the guy's name that's from London? Ted Baker. Yes, Ted Baker. That is not sustainable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I kind of thought like if we had okay, unlimited, unlimited resources, money, unlimited yeah. spending, because I guess I should have thrown that in there, but <laughs> Banana Republic is very smart. And I understand why you did it, but I am surprised that you did Ted Baker is one of my favorite designers, so. We both really like Ted Baker. He's just, he's classy. He oh, I love his stuff. Yeah. Um, but it's a little bit pricier than Banana Republic. I don't Republic. know that either <laughs> one of us own anything. I did Ted own Baker. a watch, and I broke my watch. So, yeah, neither one of us own anything Ted Baker because it is <laughs> extremely expensive, but, yeah. It's and I cool. can't take care of my things, so. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. so now my first question for you is, and I do actually know the answer to this question, mm -hmm. is what is your favorite TV show and why? You definitely know the answer <laughs> to this question. And when I answer this question, I'm probably going to start a little debate. Maybe why I asked it. Because <laughs> it's very debatable, even though there's a clear answer winner. My favorite all-time TV show. Is <laughs> parks and recreation yeah. like <laughs> for sure parks and recreation like Leslie Nope has my heart forever. I think Amy Poehler is hilarious, especially when you put her with Nick Offerman, who's Ron Swanson on the show. You've probably seen the memes of Ron Swanson, the guy with the brown mustache and the dad, you know, hair. That's Ron <laughs> Swanson and. I I can't even tell you, like, Parks and Rec is the first show that I watched all the way through, like, every episode on Netflix, and but in my life, like, the first show that I watched all the way through mm -hmm. every season, and it's just a really funny, like, uh, witty type uh, show, like, with a bunch of sarcasm and stuff like that. It's compared to The Office, which I don't really... I'm not a huge fan of The Office because I watched Park and, Parks and Rec first. Um, but anyways, at the end of the uh, all the seasons, I was legitimately sad when the show ended. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> it, no, like I, I am shocked <laughs> at myself when I look back and like at that time, like I was legitimately sad that the show was mm -hmm. over because I knew each character like so well, like. Oh, I loved it. Like, and now I won't even tell you how many times I've rewatched the entire show all the way through four times because I love it so much. And like, a couple episodes more than that. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> I love that show. Great question. Mm -hmm. But Parks and Rec is better than The Office. I have to throw that out there. And if you disagree, tell me why you disagree in the comments. But let me say this first. A lot of people say, no, Parks and Rec is worse than The Office because it's just a copycat of The Office. Well, I heard that, but then I learned that um, The Office is a copycat of a British 
version of The Office. So who's the real copycat here? The Office. Okay. So my question yeah, to you, yeah. Max. Okay. Uh, and I just thought about this. We may limit down our questions to two and let our audience ask the third question. That's a good idea. So um, just so you can participate with us, feel free not only to answer these questions yourself, but drop a question down below. And yeah. next week we will answer one of our viewers' questions. Well, maybe not next week, but whenever we do our next, our next video. Yeah. Hopefully next week. Yeah, hopefully next week. Um, so my next question to you will be, if you had to choose between being able to just speak in any foreign language possible. Okay. Or like in all foreign languages. Like you can speak in oh, all foreign okay. languages or you can talk to animals. Which one would you choose? All foreign languages easily. That was quick. Um, I am not, not an animal person, but I'm definitely more of a people person. Because I know you have people who are definitely like animal people um, who... Just have a really uh, just a super soft spot for animals. Um, I'm not that person, but for people, yes. I and mean, I just she imagine, loves animals. Oh yeah, I love animals. But, <laughs> but people just have my heart. Um, I, the idea of getting to speak to anyone in their own language and be able to understand them and relate to them, I mean, that to me sounds awesome. That's actually a really cool question and was not something that I was prepared to answer at all. <laughs> I may or may not have Googled that question. Cheater. <laughs> Which is why it was so creative, because Google, you know. Um, but your answer does not surprise me. I figured you would pick um, being able to speak in all foreign languages because she does truly, genuinely love people way better than I do. Uh, like, let's just oh be gosh. honest. She does, like, way better. I mean, I do love people, but it just, like, comes naturally for her. Um, so that doesn't surprise me. Um, and we love to travel. So yes. if oh, you yeah. could, even that. Yeah, if you could There's speak, so many benefits to that. That's the first thing. See, that's <laughs> the first thing I thought of when I was thinking about the answer to that question. Like, oh yeah, we love to travel. And she thinks, no, I love people. So that right there tells you about us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I do love people, but she like truly loves people. And um, I don't, I lost my train of thought. Oh well. So your question to me? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now I have to eliminate one of my questions. So I think my question is going to be, um, we already expressed the fact that Cameron's favorite hobby is photography. So I wanted him to pick a second hobby. So outside of photography, what is, <laughs> what is something that you love to do? Okay, let me think about this. It's funny because for the longest time, I didn't have a hobby. Like I would tell her, I was yeah, like, it's true. I don't have a hobby. Like, I don't know what I like to do. I wanted him to have a hobby so that he would go do things, do things. and get yeah. out of the house. And <laughs> so forever, like I would complain, like I don't have a hobby, like things that people normally do around here. Like I just, I'm not that as interested, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, then photography came along and like, you know, we started making some decisions to get into it and stuff. And it became like my mm -hmm. number we one found hobby. hobby. <laughs> like I loved it. Yeah, I found both of us a hobby. Um, but she encouraged me to do it. Um, man, favorite hobby. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Are you ready for it? Do you know? Do you think you know what it is? Shopping. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it is shopping. But let me be clear. I do love to shop. I do. Like I'm gonna admit it. I like it. <laughs> um, we are very different shoppers. Yeah. And she has really, um, caused me to modify the term. Yeah. Like you've really caused <laughs> me to be more, um, uh, more wise with my spending and, uh, you know, how often I shop, uh, which is great. Like I needed that big time. Uh, so we don't shop a lot all the time. I feel like we go periods of time of not mm -hmm. buying like anything. anything. I'm talking like mm -hmm. months, like two months yeah. or something. And then we'll go and like, you Sword know, like little. shop, like yeah. reward ourselves. So it probably balances out. But either way, I do love to shop, but we're very different shoppers because um, 
she loves to go in a store and I guess I can respect it. <laughs> I don't understand it, but she loves to go in a store and look all around the store and we might be in this store. She might even try stuff on. We might be in this store for two hours and walk out with nothing. <laughs> and I don't get it. Like, I can't understand it. Like, I kind of get it, I guess. But Girl brain, guy brain. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because I, like, when I go shopping, I have a list. Like, I have, over time, made a list in my notes on my phone. I want this particular item, this particular item, this, this, and this. Which From, that has changed a little bit, like, true. since we've been married. It's started now, to rub off on her a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So, yeah. honestly, he's affected my shopping habits as well. Yeah, because I feel way. like she used to go in with just, whoo, Whatever was on day. sale like, the most, that's what I was buying. Oh, well, that hasn't changed. Like, Well, I still we, do like good deals. We, whenever we shop, we go straight for the clearance rack. Yeah. Like, straight for the clearance rack. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing wrong with buying things that are not on sale, but why would you when you can buy <laughs> <Yeah>. things <laughs> on sale? And so... Whenever we shop, we definitely have that in common. We go straight for the uh, clearance rack. Sell items. Yeah. And she taught me that um, for sure because I mm -hmm. used to not do that, you know, when it wasn't Didn't think my, he could find it. When it was, well, and when it wasn't my own money. You know, when you <laughs> when you grow up a little bit and you have your own money to spend, things change mm -hmm. drastically. You stop caring so much about the brand yeah, name. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, because now, like, I used to care so much about the brand and, like, you know, all that kind of stuff, that petty stuff. Sorry if you care about that. I didn't mean to offend you, but um, I used to care about that so a much lot, more. Yeah. And now I really don't. In fact, as long as it looks good, if it's good quality. Yeah. In fact, I kind of don't want a brand to show. Like, mm -hmm. I've honestly kind of Flip, flip flopped. Yeah. Like, I really don't even want a brand to show. Like, mm -hmm. I just want it to be clean. Yeah. I don't know. But I feel like I'm not the only one. Like, I feel like a ton. Like, yeah. I just feel like well, that's our generation. You don't see almost. as many, like, um, Nike, like, just right across. Yeah. Well, big, bold. I guess Nike, maybe. Nike, but, but, like, Hollister. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. American Eagle. When I was in middle school. <laughs> that was the brand. Yes. And that was my cologne, Hollister. And Which I still good. like. Like it's <laughs> Yeah, it really does. <laughs> she tries to talk me into it all the time. Yeah, I'm like, hey, why don't we go back over there? <laughs> yeah, she wants me to buy um Hollister Cologne. He smelled good in high school. So what are you saying <laughs> now? Like that I don't No, oh we do own something, Ted Baker. You own some cologne. And it is actually <laughs> my favorite. True. It's my favorite of everything that he has. Yep, it's Ted Baker Gold, and it's technically a toilet, but oh my gosh, it smells! So <laughs> but it good. smells so good, like yeah, because it's a toilet and it's not as strong. Like I'm like, chick, 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 you know, like spraying it all over on the wrist, Half the like bottle. please be strong, you know, like I hope people actually smell it. Oh, it's so good. Um, that was I feel like I rambled a little bit there, but that is definitely my hobby. Like I do enjoy shopping, like I enjoy it. However. I don't want to go shopping with a big group of people. Like, That's I want it true. to pretty much just be me and Liz or me and a couple other family members. Um, and gone shopping with the guys before. And to act, yeah, I've gone shopping with the guys, uh, like from our um, young adults ministry at church, and that was a ton of fun. Yeah. Um, They're all kind of shoppers, actually. Yeah, it's great. Works out really great. <laughs> um, but I, I got to instill some of my. <laughs> some of my shopping some wisdom, of his wisdom <laughs> yeah into them into this younger generation yeah. just you know doing my duty <laughs> doing my duty so but yeah that's my probably my favorite hobby hobby besides photography oh, because yeah, that trumps it and all. I'm not like trying to sound like photography is my life you know but really like oh my gosh it is though I love it <laughs> I really do love it um cool yeah so those were our questions Feel free to answer them yourselves, as we said before. Um, we ask that you would like our video, um, comment. thumbs up, um, yeah, comment below. Ask us a question. We, we will answer a fan question this next time. Fan. Yeah. Y'all are, are fans. Yeah. 
we're gonna call you fans. Yeah. Viewers. 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 Fans. Friends. Friends. Maybe we'll get to that place. We can call you all friends. Yes. All right. We'll see you guys later. Until next time, be blessed.